Hi, I'm Laura Mize, pediatric speech language pathologist, and welcome to Teach Me to Talk's Therapy Tip of the Week. Over the last few months, I've come up with an idea to group my therapy toys together when I'm working on a particular skill set or a goal with a child. Now, that's not only so that I can be more organized, but it's so that I can be efficient and I can have all the things that I need to work with that particular child or on that particular goal. Now, I like this idea so much that I'm coming up with what I've come to call copy kits for all of my therapy resources, all the manuals that I offer at Teach Me to Talk and all the video series that we have here on YouTube. So you're going to be seeing a lot of these therapy tip of the weeks uh, in the upcoming weeks and months. Today we're going to be talking about stage one from stages of play for toddlers and preschoolers with uh, language delays. And so I want to talk to you about this very beginning period here. So what is stage one? Stage one happens between birth and about eight months of old, uh, age. By the time a baby is about eight months old and here in this primary first stage of play, their primary job is exploratory play. So what are babies learning how to do? They're just learning how to take in and process incoming information from their senses. So here at stage one, for stages of play, we should be pulling together toys that stimulate and facilitate a baby's use of all of his senses. So we need to be doing things that baby can see. We need to be doing things that a child can hear. So with his auditory system, we need to be doing things that really help them develop their fine motor control or their tactile system. And certainly we know that a primary method of exploration for all babies in this phase would be what? It would be mouthing toys. So we want to be sure that we are including things that are safe for a baby to be able to mouth. Now, I don't think I've said this in this video already, but many times toddlers or even older babies, toddlers, and even some preschoolers with some really significant developmental challenges may still be here in this stage one of play. And it's super important that we as therapists and that as parents who are working with children who are in this stage, we need to meet them where they are. We don't need to work on their goal. We need to meet them again where they are currently functioning so we can get them just as strong as they can be with the little skills that they're mastering here in this stage so that they can move on to the next stage and then we can keep bumping them up until they are all caught up or functioning at their highest potential. So let's talk about the toys that are really great matches here at stage one. Now, I, my first pick here is this spinning drum it's a Montessori spinning drum and we all know you know Montessori is a preschool approach and they use lots of naturalistic materials like wood and this is a great first toy because it's interesting to look at and it's so easy to activate so all the baby has to do is just barely touch it and the drum will spin and a baby can use this if they're on uh, laying on their tummies for tummy time or certainly if they're seated in a high chair or even seated with support between your legs or for an older child who is much rhetorically beyond this developmental level, but cognitively, they're still here at that birth to eight month level. This is a great toy for them. You can hear the rattle and the tinkle of the bell as we spin it. So super, super first uh, toy there. Uh, we, we've also been talking about language skills and how we're pairing language skills with our play skills in our stages of play podcast series. So we want to pick one or two key words and then really repeat those words so that a baby hears that word and begins to link meaning with that word. Now you can get a lot more information about that in my podcast, course number 466, so that you go back and listen to that show so that we are all on the same page and so that you're thinking about all of the play and the language skills that come in during this developmental period. So that's our first one, a spinning drum. And, uh, the next toy that I love for this age range is this soft tissue box. And you can hear that the tissues are made with that crinkle paper. So we're really uh, stimulating a baby's auditory system and teaching him how to listen. And that is so important for language development because babies don't learn how to talk unless they are hearing what other people say first and then linking meaning with those words and then begin to imitate those words as they move on into end of stage two and stage three. But here in stage one, we want to really help a baby learn how to listen. And then again, another really important skill that we're working on here would be his tactile system or feeling the various textures of the tissues in this box. 
The next toy that I just love for this age range is this mirror puzzle. And I think it's a nice surprise when the baby uh, moves the circle that's uh, here for the puzzle and they see the mirror and they see themselves. Uh, mirror play is so important for babies throughout, uh, even throughout toddlerhood. So great, great toy to use with that. You can certainly do a little game of peekaboo there, but you want a child to learn how to move the knob and remove this piece on his or her own. That's probably not going to happen in stage one, but you want to help a child learn that that's how this toy works. So you can put their little hand there and start to show them the mirror that's underneath. Another great toy for stage one here is this fabric ball. There are different textures. So again, great uh, way to uh, facilitate a child learning to reach out and touch and really start to differentiate these textures. And again, a child at this age is not going to be able to say, ooh, cool corduroy <laughs> here, or wow, mom, I hear that bell. But they are listening and they are touching and they are beginning to process. And so again, especially important for our friends who are older than this range but that are still this is still where they're functioning so great great toy for that and again we're meeting them where they are so that we can help them strengthen these skills and then bump up to the next age range uh, this is a cool early shape sorter toy we talk about shape sorters in uh, all the shows uh, for a long time here in stages of play but this simplest one has strings that a child can easily fit his little hand in there because they move and certainly will be able to get a shape uh, back in this kind of container long before they would be able to use the traditional shape sorter. Uh, I love the rain stick. That's another great choice here for stage one. A baby can look at the balls as they fall through the tube here and certainly hear that. This is a great toy for encouraging mobility as well because it can roll away uh, from a child and a child has um, a reason or um, a goal there with being more motivated to try to move on his or her belly and crawl or creep to get it or certainly uh, scoop to get it. So great choice. And the last toy I have in the copy kit here for stage one is this cool uh, wobbler toy. It, again, we're teaching children the very beginnings of cause and effect, meaning I do something and then this happens. So this is a great toy to get that going at stage one because all a child has to do is nudge it a little bit and it will move. All right, you can find the links for all of these toys below here on YouTube. And for more information about stage one, please check out my course uh, 466 so that you can get uh, the full range of information that you need to work with a toddler who is here at stage one. All right, that's all for today. I'm Laura Mize, pediatric speech language pathologist. And thank you so much for joining me for Teach Me to Talk's Therapy Tip of the Week.